Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So, do you want to run Windows 11 on your old or unsupported PC? Then don't worry. Today I will show you a simple trick to install Windows 11 on any device, even if the Microsoft says your hardware isn't supported. No TPM, no secure boot, no problem. Stay connected because by the end of this video, you will be able to enjoy Windows 11 running smoothly on your device. So, without any further delay, let's quickly get started. So right now I'm on my Windows 10 and open this PC Health Check application and if I click on check now, it says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirement. I'm getting the TPM and the secure boot error but on your end you might also get a different error related to the CPU, TPM and the secure boot. So whatever the reasons are, you're not able to upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now next what you have to do, you need to close it bring up any of your browser as first we have to download the windows 11 iso so open the browser search for windows 11 iso download click on the first website here scroll down to the bottom and you will find download windows 11 disk image so click on the drop down choose windows 11 multi edition click on confirm next it will ask you to select the product language so you need to click on the drop down and choose the product language now here you have to be careful as you have to select the same product language that you have currently on your Windows 10. And in order to find out the same language, click on your Windows search, type PowerShell, choose run as administrator, click on yes. And here you have to run a simple command that you will be getting in the description. Copy, right click here. And this is the command. Once you hit the enter key, it will show you your current product language of your operating system on Windows 10. So you will have to choose the same product language over here also on Windows 11. Click on confirm and then finally click on 64 bit download. So the downloading of the ISO will be now started and it's around 5.4 gigabytes. So it will take some time and I've already downloaded here to save the time. So I will close it. And once you also have downloaded the Windows 11 ISO, next on your browser only open up a new tab and search here fly. O, B and at the key you will be getting this first website of the github you have to click on it I will also leave this link in the description you can directly open it once you are here scroll down a bit and this is the application that we will be using to bypass all the system requirement and install windows 11 so from the right hand side below the releases you will have to click on latest again scroll down and it says fly OB 1.5 new you need to click on download fly OB on your Chrome or any other browser. If you get this kind of message here, you have to click on it and click on download suspicious file as it's not suspicious. It's only showing you because it comes for absolutely free. So once downloaded, open the downloaded folder and it will be downloaded in a zip file. So right click on it, click on extract all, click on extract. And this kind of folder will be up. Now here you will find the flyo application make a right click on it click run as admin click on more info and click on run anyway and finally this kind of dashboard of the fly ob will be up it says drag and drop your windows 11 iso to upgrade unsupported pcs so what you have to do below where it says select an option click on it choose select iso from local computer then locate to the destination where you have downloaded the windows 11 iso select it click on open and it says cpu check passed mounting iso and once everything will be done it will automatically bring up the windows setup page like this and it says install windows server so don't worry it's not installing the windows server it will be installing windows 11 but it's using a small trick of windows server installation Below it says change how setup download update. You need to click on it. Choose not right now. Click on next. Checking your PC. And I'm very sure everything will be bypassed and no error will be up. Click on accept. And here you can choose key file setting and application so that you should not lose any of your file application that you have on your Windows 10. Click on next. And then finally click on install. So the installation of Windows 11 will now be started. So you just need to stick around, wait, have some patience until it's all been done. And once installation will be done and once it will be upgraded 
from Windows 10 to Windows 11, I will show you that how smoothly it works without any kind of problem, without losing any of our files. Alright, so bingo and finally we have upgraded to Windows 11 on the unsupported hardware using this free tool and you can see on my desktop all the application, the data, folder, everything exists here and that indicate that nothing will be deleted while upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So now once you have upgraded finally you can delete the Windows 11 ISO you have uh, downloaded or all the other application that you have downloaded. And you are good to go. So enjoy the computer, enjoy Windows 11. And if it works for you guys, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.